The Leckford Estate was purchased in 1928 by John Speed and Lewis of Oxford Street and today forms part of the organisation known as the John Lewis Partnership. The Leckford Estate occupies 1,500 hectares of landscape, split down the middle by the River Test. Today I'm meeting Andrew Ferguson, farm production manager here at Leckford, to find out what happens on the estate. So Andrew, behind us we've got a load of very happy looking free range chickens. Can you uh, tell me a bit about them? Yes, we've got 12 sheds on site here. We've got nice diversity of colour, whites and browns. We've also got quite large birds, actually they're 50% older than your, your typical meat bird. Yeah. Uh, in fact, this is as good as it gets for a chicken really in, in, in farming. Nigel comes in in the mornings, checks the birds, lets them out of the pop holes. So they really get a full day to roam around? and. They get a full day it. to roam around, you know, free range. We've got you know, plenty of vegetation here, trees for shelter, different heights of grass. Fantastic environment for our chickens here. Living the life of luxury, no, really Exactly. Nice. Restructured in 2012, there are now 20 hectares of orchards on the shallow chalk soils at Leckford. And there's also a vineyard here too. We grow about 50 acres of fruit. A smaller proportion of that is pears uh, compared with the apples. Um, but we're in a, an orchard here with conference pears, with concord and with uh, commis pears as well. And when will these be ready for picking? They'll be ready for picking probably uh, in early October. And are all the apples and pears used solely for fruit or do you, do you make juice? Or? We, we try to make use of as many as possible of the apples and pears for dessert fruit, for eating quality. But anything that doesn't make the grade for dessert fruit, we use for, for juicing or, or even cider. Lovely. I like for cider. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Most of our orchards here are, are 20 years old, um, some a bit younger, but the, the, the youngest piece of fruit that we have on the farm is our, our vineyard, which was planted in 2009. Uh, we actually took our first harvest in 2011, and the bottles of sparkling wine from that harvest have just reached the shelves of Waitrose. There's a long history of dairy production on the estate, and 100,000 litres of milk are produced here each week. The farm also produces specialist products. So Andrew, here we are in the mushroom farm, surrounded by a sea of brown chestnut mushrooms. They look fantastic, but there's a lot of them here. What kind of a scale are we talking about? Well, the Lakeford Mushroom Farm produces about 25, 26 tonnes of mushrooms per week. Wow. This would be a closed cup or chestnut mushroom. If we let this one grow on for a few more days, it would be a small open or portobellini or a large flat mushroom or portobello mushroom. Um, wow. The difference is merely age and, and size of the mushrooms. They're all the same species, all the same variety. Another product that you supply to Waitrose is rapeseed oil, which I love using. I think it's a great alternative to olive oil. We've been pressing rapeseed oil since the autumn of 2012, uh, and one on Leckford that kind of typifies our approach to farming and the leaf approach, the integrated farm management approach. Pollination in the oilseed rape crops is reliant on insect pollination and bees are very important for that. We do encourage bees onto the farm through pollen and nectar strips, areas that we sow specifically to encourage, for example, bumblebees. We get the oil out, which we, we bottle and, and sell, but nothing's going to waste. The cake that re remains, the, the residue, we feed to our dairy cows on the farm. Oh, right, An okay. excellent feed. So you're using up every single bit? Every single bit. Linking environment and farming. I've had a great day here at Leckford, and through meeting Andrew, I've seen firsthand how responsible, sustainable farming leads to fantastic British produce. And frankly, that's great for everybody. For a more detailed look at some of the work happening here at Leckford, watch the mini-series exploring the different areas of the farm. We're standing on the poultry unit here at Lightford and uh, we're standing by one of our 12 sheds. 
This really is top-notch husbandry. They have freedom to roam through vegetation here, grass, uh, through trees. We have an electric fence protecting from, from foxes, for example. They're quite comfortable um, and they don't have passports, so they, they don't stay too far away from home. They're branded as regional free-range Leckford chickens. Quite big birds on the shelves, but very flavoursome. Click on the different areas of the farm to find out more. We're in the vineyard here at Lightford. Um, the vineyard was planted in 2009, so it's still very young by vineyard standards. We've got three varieties of grape that have been planted here. We're standing in amongst some of the Chardonnay vines, but we've also got Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier, three varieties that traditionally have been grown for Champagne. Um, but obviously, we're here in England, we're here in Hampshire, and it's English sparkling wine that we're producing from those three varieties of grape. The soil here is fairly shallow, over chalk. It's a matter about sort of tender, loving care of our grapes, protecting them from diseases in particular, protecting them from frost. And the south-facing aspect means that we've got a better chance of harvesting nice, sweet grapes in, in October. We took our first harvest in 2011, which was only four tonnes, but enough for just over 2,000 bottles. But we took a giant leap last year in 2013. We harvested 44 tonnes of excellent quality grapes, which should be enough to produce 28,500 bottles. It'll fly off the shelves, I'm sure. For a more detailed look at some of the work happening here at Leckford, watch the mini-series exploring the different areas of the farm. The mushroom farm here at Lightford was established in 1986, uh, so we've got nearly 30 years worth of experience of growing mushrooms. This is one of 16 growing rooms that we have on the farm, growing brown mushrooms for Waitrose. We operate on a six-week uh, growing cycle, so we start off with a perfectly clean room. On day one, we're bringing in compost that has already got the mushroom fungus in there, and to the top of the compost, we add what we call casing, and this is the material that supplies the mushrooms with water as they, they grow at a fantastic rate. The conditions in the room are tightly controlled. We're at about 16 degrees just now, and the relative humidity as well. Both of these conditions are critical for the, the, the quality mushrooms that we're growing here at Lightfoot. What we're looking for in a good quality mushroom is a, a, a good shape, good density, nice even colour, no feathering as we would call it, and a nice clean white stock. From the 16 growing rooms, we're producing about 25 to 26 tonnes of mushrooms per week, entirely for Waitrose. Click on the different areas of the farm to find out more. The all-seed processing unit at Lightford has been in existence for about a year and a half now. We opened it in October 2012, producing more than 100,000 bottles of oil for Waitrose. The rapeseed oil that we produce is very healthy oil, uh, very high in polyunsaturates, very low in saturated oils, very popular for cooking, for frying. The yellow flowering crop, all-seed rape, produces these little black seeds. We harvest those in July and we are pressing the oil out and bottling it for delivery to Waitrose. We extract the oil from the seeds and what is left comes out as these pellets which we can feed to our dairy cows, minimising wastage, making sure that our impact on the environment from farm production is minimal or beneficial. For a more detailed look at some of the work happening here at Leckford, watch the mini-series exploring the different areas of the farm.